And on the envoy's first day of his visit to the U.S., who met with President Donald Trump, there Trump hinted at a more lenient North Korea policy. Connie Kim reports. President Trump says he's willing to make peace through dialogue with North Korea if conditions are right. That's what he told South Korea's special envoy to the U.S., Hong seok Kyun at the White House, where Trump reportedly made clear he does not support talks for their own sake. President Trump said he hopes to work closely with President Moon to resolve the North Korea nuclear issue and get a result. Trump's choice of the word peace regarding the North Korea issue has also shed light on whether there is room for change in Washington's current North Korea policy of maximum pressure and engagement. To some, this has raised anticipation of how close the positions of Presidents Moon and Trump will be when they hold their first summit next month. They are, they are, there have been very significant uh, you know, sanctions and pressures on North Korea, and now there are some atmospheres for dialogue between North Korea and the United States. So I think in order for us to have a very important influence on the U.S. policy towards North Korea, I think there should be you know, a close coordination and dialogue with President Trump as soon as possible. While Trump and Special Envoy Hong mainly discussed the big picture, Hong and National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster also briefly talked about that. I said there is a controversy about procedural problems in the course of the deployment, and I talked about the need for this issue to be discussed at the National Assembly. The costs of that were not brought up in that discussion, and McMaster was said to have expressed understanding about the procedural issues. That has risen as a key pending issue with Washington recently, after Trump said Seoul should pay a staggering one billion U.S. dollars for the system, a cause that no agreement says South Korea is responsible for. Hong will spend the rest of his trip to the U.S. meeting with senior government officials and North Korea experts to lay the groundwork for Moon and Trump's much-anticipated one-on-one meeting next month. Connie Kim, Adirang News.